we'll go ahead and get started with our work session. Some of the folks will be coming a little bit later, and uh, we do have a little bit of uh, stuff that needs to go into closed session. So at this time, I would ask for a motion to go into closed session. So moved. Mr. Francis has made a motion. Do I hear a second? Several Mr. Henson. Any questions or discussion? There being none, we're going in. Oh, all those in favor say aye. Aye. All opposed? We're in closed session. All right, I don't think we, I want to be here all night long, so let's get uh, back to the right, uh, work done. session. Uh, I'm, my meetings now last a little bit longer. You know, I go from the shortest meeting one time to the longest meeting the second time. So, uh, all right, so we're back in work session here. So I am going to turn it over to uh, Dr. Nolte. Uh, he's got a couple of things on here for the. Let me do the two items on the list there, and then we'll let Pat do our uh, property update. And then we have just a couple other announcements, and certainly we'll want to answer any questions that you all have that are uh, pertinent. Or appropriate for open session. The first thing that we wanted to uh, make you aware of was something that you may hear something about. You know that we have uh, exempt employees and non-exempt employees. Exempt employees are um, essentially exempt from overtime rules. They're folks like the folks sitting in front of you and we can work 40 hours or 50 hours or 60 hours or ever how many hours it takes. Uh, non-exempt employees uh, uh, get paid by the number of hours that they work uh, regardless of when they work them for a job that we have. So uh, recently the U.S. this is the one that says uh, the U.S. Department of Labor at the top. Recently the uh, U.S. Department of Labor uh, changed the maximum income you'll see at the bottom of the first page uh, by raising the standard salary level from the current uh, 455 to 684 per week uh, of about 35,000 a year for full-time workers what this means is that some of our cafeteria managers will no longer be exempt employees that is outside of our control we've essentially paid them one salary amount um, to manage the cafeteria and uh, and they were not clocking in and out they were just doing that and uh, several of our employees um, will now have to uh, be classified as non-exempt employees and we'll have to pay them hourly we certainly will not um, do anything to impact the total amount of money that they receive but we can no longer call them exempt employees because of this uh, federal change so allison has met with them uh, already she met with them um, um, the day that of the board meeting uh, we had staff meeting that morning and talked about this and she was met with them so that's just one of those federal rules that change that we don't have any control over uh that's the prominent group i can't think of another one there may be one somewhere um there may be one somewhere but that's that's primarily the group if there's another one we'll certainly make you aware of that um, at a future work session or meeting it's around managing a certain number of people and it's also around a um, minimum uh, amount of pay it, it does not offset the amount you can't uh, they will not allow us to make someone uh, exempt and pay them twenty thousand dollars a year because they manage two or three people uh, and the new amount is thirty five five sixty eight not a rule we particularly like but it's it's just one that we've been given and we'll be obligated to follow it yep. Any other questions about that? Uh, the other thing that we wanted to make you aware of is uh, we received uh, information 
about a session law that has changed. And so uh, we will want to ask you shortly after the Christmas holiday, other holiday break, um, to expedite um, some policy language that we will want to, to put in place. And what has um, happened is if you'll turn to the fifth page, which is actually the third page facing you, um, we report suspected child abuse and provide a lot of training, but we are uh, now going to be required uh, to include information about sex trafficking in that training and we need to add that to our policy and update our policy and update our training and then on page six um, we're to provide that new training to all school personnel I thank you Trevor by this coming uh, fall by the fall of 2020 so we will be working on that uh, there's also some language in here um, that includes things like uh, grooming um, uh, befriending students and grooming them to um, um, solicit uh, from them later so those are new requirements. The grooming stuff's on the bottom of that page five. Each employing entity shall adopt and implement a child sex abuse and child trafficking training program for school personnel who work directly with students in grades kindergarten through 12 that provides education awareness training related to se child sexual abuse and sex trafficking, including but not limited to best practices from the field to prevent the grooming process of sexual predators, the warning signs of sexual abuse and sex trafficking, and you can read the rest of that. <clears throat> so that will be something uh, that we will want to uh, move pretty quickly so we can comply with the uh, policy changes. So probably be on board, or be on the board uh, agenda for January. Uh, we hope, if not, shortly thereafter. If it makes it. If it makes it out of the policy committee, which uh, Mr. Rogers serves on, we like to review, okay. vet those, and make sure they match uh, practices and legal counsel. So, okay. Any, any questions about those two bullets? Mr. Smathers, would you like to give the property updates at this time? Uh, board, two things. The uh, you know we we uh, had a bid on the property at 918 Terrace Drive in Canton. There was an upset bid filed on that, uh, uh, so the property is now uh, the bid is twenty five thousand nine hundred one dollars, and that will notice will go in the Mountaineer newspaper on Monday, and there'll be another round of upset bids. If anybody wants to buy that. Uh, the um, uh, other item is one that has been uh, we've been waiting on for a while. Uh, the Board of County Commissioners have written us and told us that they are not interested in the property adjacent to Meadowbrook School, and we can go ahead and propose and dispose of that property, that track. That's all you need to know. That's all I got to tell you. <laughs> We'll proceed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that? I just have two other informa uh, other informational items. One, we need your feedback on. We know this is not a action meeting, but this is not really board action. It's just talking about the w next work session. Uh, so, and I had mentioned this to Mr. Francis, Mr. Uh, Chuck Francis. So we anticipate with all the things that we have going on, many of which we have discussed tonight, that we would uh, probably need to have a work session in January. Uh, the uh, board meeting is scheduled for Monday the 13th, and we wanted, instead of polling each one of you and having you all get back to us, we thought it might be a little quicker if you all could give us some indication tonight if you would 
prefer Thursday the 9th or Thursday the 16th or some other day uh, that works for everyone for a work session. How does Thursday the 9th work for everybody? So, Mr. Clark, would another not be better? Well, on the 16th would be good, maybe. The 6th, I'm off on the 6th. <laughs> Do you think there's some stuff we need to discuss before, prior to the board meeting at that work session? or? Uh, well, you know the things, some of the things we've discussed tonight, we could certainly, certainly have an extended closed session on the 13th if we needed it. Uh, and it really... Uh, it does not matter to us if the work session is uh, on the 9th or the 16th. We're good either way. The 6th, 6th, the 6th, let me do it on Monday before prior. How about the 6th? Monday the 6th? Yeah, the Monday prior. I can do that. Would that work for y'all? Not too early. No. Let's um, let's, I know, I mean. Monday the 6th is fine with me. Unless I'm in the Bahamas or something. Probably I'll check with, with Mr. Chuck <laughs> Francis. Make sure. Double check with uh, Chuck. With you. Wishful thinking. Yeah. Monday the 6th is fine. We'll, we'll pencil that in on our <coughs> side and then if Mr. Francis or Mr. Francis could Mr. let us know. Just out of curiosity, when's the national championship game? Somebody Google the national championship. I wasn't going to say it, but it did cross my mind. What night's it on? It's on the 6th. It's on the 6th? Is it the 6th? I don't know. Google it real Google quick. It. <laughs> Somebody Google it. We do this every time. When is the national championship game? That's <laughs> Siri. Sports league championships frequently mentioned on the web include... Uh -huh. I can tell you who's not going to be in it. Georgia. <laughs> Alabama. Shut up. Roll Tide. I wouldn't will do that to him. Her? Yes. She harasses me all the time. So. January 13th. 13th? So the board meeting. The board meeting. <laughs> yeah. Special call, baby. We'll have to do that one quickly, won't we? It's going to be real thin on stuff. We're <laughs> we shouldn't have any... any uh, so we can do the work session the 6th and then the... Sports recognitions and things to do. I don't know. How many LSU Ohio State fans are there? <laughs> <laughs> oh. they, uh, they already got it in, in New Orleans. Come on, Super Tigers, Tigers, Tigers. <laughs> Tell them. Uh, what are they, Cornhuskers? Well, so what's the consensus? It, do, it doesn't start till 9. We'll have to worry about yeah, let's, let's do the work session on the 6th and then six we'll do a very fine with us. meeting on the 13th. No special recognition. No building in the ground. Building in the ground has many of the lifestyle. Yeah, you got them. Okay. All right, so that's good. It, what, anything else? Um, yeah, not at this time, since we're going to have a work session on the 6th, the other thing that I wanted to ask you, I'll just ask you then. It's a trivial matter. Okay. All right. Anybody else have anything that they need to bring before the work session? Everybody have a Merry Christmas. Yes. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Hope Santa Claus is good to everybody. Bring you lots of presents. All right. Meeting adjourned.